Standing job, Merit Health. We call Merit Health and ask for triage folks, and they sent right to the scene for us, which was a great help. MDOT, MHP, the Harrison County Sheriff's Department, the sheriff himself responded and, and rendered life-saving aid to some folks. Uh, we had the corner, Harrison County Coroner's Office responded and was, was a great help to us. We had air support from, from New Orleans and Hattiesburg. Not, not too very long ago, we had a, a training exercise that, that encompassed this, this exact scenario within just the last month. It worked out very well for us. The training that, that we received paid off today. Our, our incident commander, Chief Joe Boney, just did an outstanding job, and I'll turn it over to him now. Good afternoon. Uh, as Chief Miller said, it was, uh, it was, it was quite a tragedy. At uh, 2.14 this afternoon, we received a call for a bus versus train accident. Uh, the first units arrived on scene within two minutes. Uh, they found a, uh, a, a tour bus that had been uh, hit by a train. There were many victims uh, still trapped inside the bus. Many, many people trying to get off of the bus, so you can imagine it was a pretty chaotic scene. We were very fortunate to have uh, the assistance of, like Chief Miller said, among them. Uh, AMR was, was instrumental in getting some people here, Harrison County Fire Service, the Alberville Fire Department, Gulfport Fire Department, uh, also assisted in this uh, incident. At this time, we have, we have transported uh, 35, uh, people to the hospital. Uh, we have seven, I believe, that were non-injured. Uh, they will be uh, released uh, from the scene, and I think Chief Miller said four fatalities. Uh, they, they've been transported to area hospitals, uh, Merritt Health, Gulfport, I believe, and uh, Ocean Springs and Center River uh, hospitals. Um, at this time, we have uh, the, the bus is clear. We have no one else left on the bus. All victims have been transported uh, to the hospital. And, uh, Do you know when the last victims were taken off of the bus? Or about how long did it take before y'all were able to get off, everyone well, off we the had, bus? We had two victims that had to be extricated. They were trapped. We had to use the jaws of life to extricate them. Most of the victims were taken off within 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, the, 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 uh, the two victims that I know of that were, that were had to be extricated naturally took a little bit more time. We had to get all the other victims off the bus before we could start extrication. Chief Bowie. Um, earlier, Chief Miller said that three people were confirmed dead. You just said four. So are there are four fatalities now, or is it three? There's four fatalities. Four fatalities, yes. and four people have died. Okay. Were there four deceased on the bus from the beginning? Is that what it was, or did one? No. There, there was three that were deceased, and, and one has, has since passed away. You had clergy members on the scene as well? We did. We had clergy from all denominations out here helping us, assisting us. And uh, it, it was a community effort. You know, it, the old saying, it, it takes a village. Well, it, the village came out today, and they assisted. Uh, as you can see, uh, merged the Red Cross, Salvation Army are here assisting our folks, uh, getting them rehydrated. Uh, the hospitals were great. Uh, Keesler, I can't say enough about Keesler um, and all the uh, surrounding fire departments that, that came in and, and uh, police agencies, as well as AMR, Acadian Ambulance, uh, and, and the Keesler Fire Department. Since we know those on board are from Texas, uh, where will those uh, other passengers be for the night? That, that I believe, and, and I can't confirm this, but I believe the tour group is bringing them to the Hollywood Casino uh, for the night. That's what I've been told. And, and we do we still know where they were heading? Do we know? I do not. I do not. Is there any estimated time for how long it's going to take you guys to actually get this scene completely clear? Well, at this time, I, I believe the police and the coroner have moved in uh, to do their investigation. I'll turn that over to Chief Miller. Right. We'll conduct we'll conduct a, a full investigation. Naturally, we want measurements of everything. So we're going to take our time at this point. There's no rush. We're going to take our time and make sure that we, we can reconstruct this accident in the future fully. So an hour, two hours, three hours, there's no way to know. When the accident reconstructionists have, have done everything and gotten everything where they feel comfortable that they can go back 
a year from now and reconstruct what happened, then we'll move everything. Have you all spoken with CSX representatives at this time? We have. That's We've right. spoken with CSX. They've been very helpful for us. Uh, there's actually a couple of CSX guys out here somewhere. I'm not sure where they're at. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we checked with CSX to make sure that the uh, train traffic was was diverted. Uh, that has been done. We've been in touch with their hazmat team to make sure uh, that there's no in incidents with the train, which there is not. The train is intact. There's no danger with the train. Uh, uh, they are they are cooperating fully uh, with with the emergency service agencies. One question I got: there was no fire involved in this. Was Absolutely there? not. Uh, the other question, how does the federal investigation, how does the investigation go from here? What's, what are the next steps that happen? I'm sure federal investigators will respond. I'm sure they'll want to look at everything that we've got, and, and they more than likely will uh, piggyback off of us unless they think that we've done something that's 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 not right, but which they're going to find that everything here has been done properly. Uh, I would say this. Uh, what a, a terrible tragedy. Our hearts go out to all, all the families involved. Uh, if you uh, please say a prayer for the families, they're, they're going to have a hard time in the future. Uh, any chance, Jim, we're going to do this again at five, right here? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. Uh, no. This appears to be our last news conference of the evening. You